and so here we go. The 76ers to start it. Now let's take a look at the Bulls opening lineup. They've got Pippen. Dennis Rodman is out there with Long. Then it's Jordan. And it's Harper in at the point guard. And the mid-range game of Iverson is quite steady. Has a rapid fire release, and even at his size, it's hard to get to his shot. And so it's the 76ers getting on the board first. Jordan can't get it to go. Jordan against Iverson. Over Jordan. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now here's Rudd. And it's sent back by Matumbo. Boy, the shot blocking instincts of Matumbo. Superb. Timing. Exquisite. Here's Hill. Rodman grabs the miss. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. Here's Jordan. The teardrop falls in. And Jordan is simply amazing at finishing through contact. Doesn't matter what you throw at him or who, he finds a way to score. From T. Iverson connects from three-point range. Iverson's got seven points in the game. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Longley off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And Scottie Pippen so good at surveying the floor. Like seeing him find the open man with those sweet dishes. The pass to Lynch. Back to Iverson. Pass to Lynch. Shot clock at five. Shoots the three. Iverson, no luck. Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. Pippen, the pass to Harper. Longley against Matumbo. To the middle. Here's Pippen. And the slam dunk by Pippen. Yeah, and Jordan sees the floor so nicely. I mean, one of his guys has a clean look. He gets the ball to him in whip-like fashion. Now here's Iverson. He has seven. Took him no time at all on that one. Ten points for him. And just a solid way to start the game. Four or five. Outside Jordan. Passes to Pippen. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Iverson against Jordan. Back to Pippen from outside the arc. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. And it's the Kembe with the jam. And AI, Allen Iverson, does more than just shoot the ball. He also has a great feel for when his teammates are wide open. Bulls trail by six. Outside Jordan with the drive. Can't hit from 12. Boy, just not scoring with the efficiency he'd like to. Tough quarter for him. Has to snow. Beyond the arc. Another three for Philadelphia. Guys, this has been an incredible performance this quarter. I mean, he's getting the ball where he likes it and wants it and just going to work. All right, coming up to the court right now, it's your Sixers and Pigs. Sixers with some changes. Oh, it's Jack in for Matumbo. Geiger comes in for Hill. And it's McKee in for Lynch. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Wennington, he's checked in for Longley. Simpkins comes in for Rodman. Tony Kukoc, he's checked in for Jordan. And Kerr subbed in for Ron Harper. Now here's Kukoc. To the left wing. Two minutes remaining in the third. Chicago needs to get off a shot here. Simpkins. And again, Chicago. No good. Now the 76ers with it. They're on a 15-6 run. The three from Iverson. Drills it from outside. 
Ivers, he's got 16 points. When you find yourself up double digits in the first quarter, you know you're doing something right. Well, they're doing everything right. How about that? I mean, this could turn into a blowout very quickly. Now, here's Pippen. And the pass to Simpkins. Who coach against Iverson and stolen by Iverson. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Bushler's checked in for Pippen. Philadelphia shooting their first free throw this game. At the line for your Sixers. I don't know if we've seen a tougher player pound for pound than Allen Iverson. I mean, you can knock him around, but he's always going to bounce back up. Now here's Kukoc. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Kerr. A shot off that time. Now the 76ers take it the other way. And there it is for him. Bill and a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. The drive by Iverson, and Iverson throws it down. Excellent all-around performance so far, hence the big lead. Yeah, you know, this had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. And here are the Bulls now after the Sixers pick up two. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. You know what, guys, honestly, I didn't think he'd win that battle. I mean, that's a lot of height to give up. And here we go with the Bulls. Fast break. And Kerr with the basket on the end. Just by Kukoc. Yeah, and what you love about Kukoc, the versatility on offense and the terrific court vision. The three from Iverson. Rebounded by Wennington. Bulls trail by 11. Here is Kerr. Unloads from 13. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Pass to McKee. From T. Iverson. And that one released in time, but no good. The first quarter concludes in a double-digit lead on the scoreboard. Philadelphia ahead as they wrap up the first quarter with a massive 16-6 run. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And the 76ers have been rolling along, haven't they? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Yeah, you know, I agree. No warm-up needed. They came in on fire and have already built a nice lead. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. Scotty. So on the floor for Philadelphia, we've got Matumbo. Jones is out there with Lynch. Then it's McKee, and it's Claxton in at the shooting guard position. Here is Lynch after the made shot from Scotty Pippen. Jones drives in. Can't hit that one. Good work defensively by Rodman. And here is Harper. He's still scoreless so far in this one. McKee the pass to Claxton. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Matumbo inside. Longley on him. And the basket by Matumbo. And the 76ers lead by 11. Can't allow Matumbo to get this deep. I mean, once you do, he's going to score it with ease. Jones against Pippen. Screen by Longley. Here's Harper, and it's sent back by Matumbo. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that. And that's on a bounce. Philadelphia will retain possession. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one.
Here's McKee. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. There's the triple. Claxton, no good. Bulls trail by 11. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Michael, right Jordan. now, they need a basket. You know, Jordan is an accomplished scorer inside. I mean, feels like he can get whatever shot he wants on the block. Here is Lynch, following the basket by Michael Jordan. Outside Pippen. And, and you can see he just That's didn't get squared up with his feet. Those are always down. tough to judge, but I think the official got that one right. All right, coming up to the court right now is your Sixers and Outside Jordan. Back to Harper. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Iverson outside. Drains the three-pointer. Iverson's got 24 points. Nothing better than a hustle play like that. It gets the whole team amped up. Sets the example for everyone. Here's Longley. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Chicago making a switch here. Lennington's checked in. And here's Hill, who will bring it up for Philadelphia. Leading by 12. And they double up Iverson. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. And Jones now atop the key. Allen Iverson on the way. Just five to shoot. Goes up on the block, and the jumper is on the mark. Iverson's got five points now in the quarter. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Here's Pippen. And it's Tyrone Hill with the rebound. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Now, here is Hill. Scotty Pippen unable to get his shot to go. The 76ers need to get off the shot, and they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. And some changes here for the 76ers. McCulloch's check in for Geiger, and it's Snow in for Lynch. The Bulls also changing it up. Tony Kukoc, he's checked in for Pippen, and Steve Kerr is subbed in for Ron Harper. Now here's Kukoc. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Two minutes remaining. Passes it to Wennington. Two minutes. Takes it inside. Releases from 15. That shot is off. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Iverson kicks to Jones. Back to Iverson. And they double up Iverson. Feeds to McCullough. Kicks it out to Iverson. Down low. Has to Snow. Eyes a three. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. Bushler's check in for Chicago. Coming out to the floor for the Bulls. Judge Bushler. Bulls trail by 14. Come get it, come get it. 122 left now here in the second to stop the drought. Rebound by McCulloch. Here's Iverson, and Iverson throws it down. Iverson can score with the best of them. I tell you what, a volume shooter. He does not lack confidence and lets it fly from anywhere and everywhere. Here's Bushler, Iverson covering. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Here's Kerr. Off the left rim and out. 
They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this new team. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. The pass to Bushley. Rodman kicks to Kerr. Right side, Kukoc. Back to Kerr. The three finds the hole for the second time from the floor. Now two for five. Kerr, one of the best three-point marksmen in the NBA. His form, release, efficiency, perfect. The three from Iverson. It's not going to go for him. Bulls trail by 15. Pass to Kerr. And he drives in, and he comes up with the deuce. Kerr's got five points now this quarter. Challenging the bigger defender, cutting him down to size with that one. Well, the size mismatch is no problem for this fella, guys. I mean, how much do you like seeing that aggressiveness from him? And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. They've had such great ball movement and shot selection, and it's led to a terrific field goal percentage. Right back after this break. play out a little more evenly here in the second. What a game we're seeing from Allen Iverson. Yeah, he's just been raining down on him from deep here. Talk about dialed in. Well, you know, the stroke looks fantastic. Even when he's had a hand in his face, it hasn't affected him at all. So for Chicago right now, on way out there with Dennis Rodman, then it's hit. Then it's Jordan. And it's Harper in at the point guard position. Pretty good display of strength by Jordan the there. Absorbed the contact and Jordan. still able to nail the shot. And the free throw, no good. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Now here's Jordan. He's got six. And foul on the, the shot, foul. so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his Michael second Jordan second using foul. that strength of his second to get foul. into the defense to draw the foul on the Shooting way up. For Chicago. And so Jordan nails both of them. The 76ers leading by nine. And McKee kicks to Hill. And stolen by Jordan. And still Jordan early in the period. Aaron and they're only McKee. one foul away That's from being over the limit. Foul. Third team foul. Here's Harper. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Pippen, the pass to Longley. Jordan against McKee. Fades. Count it. And the 76ers lead has been cut down to seven on the bucket from Michael Jordan. An effective score from the in-between area of the court. Jordan doing his thing. Snow against Harper. Snow the pass to Lynch. Here's Geiger, and plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. And the foul goes against Chicago. It's his first trip to the line. Free throw, good, Geiger. He's perfect from the line this time. Now Pippen. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. Longley with the bucket. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Now here's McKee. This is it to Geiger. Jordan against McKee. 
Here's Hill. A second chance effort. No good that time. Good work defensively by Rodman. Here's Jordan. And it's Jordan with the jam. Well, uh, they're getting stops. And they're attacking on the offensive end. And, you know, it's taken a big run, but they were able to get back into this one. Very impressive. No quit in these guys. Here is Lynch. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Here's Hill. Banked in off the glass. And the 76ers lead by seven. Chicago calls time. Tempo is check in for the 76 Iverson comes in for Lynch. Harper against Snow. Harper dishes to Jordan. Rebound by the 76ers. They led by as many as 18 points. Hill passes to Snow. And here is Matumbo, covered by Lung. And they double up Iverson. And Hill has it in the corner. Four on the shot clock. To the left side wing. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Snow can't hit. Only 20% from the field to start this half. To me, it looks like their opponent may have made some nice adjustments. Odman passes a long way. Now Pippen. Longley a screen on Iverson. Pippen. That's short off the rim. Iverson against Pippen. The drive by Iverson. Boy, the quickness of Iverson. What a blur this guy is. Slithering his way through the defense and never afraid to drive it inside despite being a small guy. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And again, no good by Chicago. The 76ers leading by nine. And stolen by Jordan. The finish. And slammed up by Jordan. Tell you what, Jordan's such a strong defender. Outstanding at reading the opposition and pouncing on those steals. Fires from the wing. And it's Harper with the rebound. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. The defense did a really good job of choking off the middle there once he got inside. And Jordan sends it back. Boy, much respect for the defense of Jordan. I mean, he gives his all on this end of the floor. I mean, fantastic. Getting his hands up to block shots. And it's Allen Iverson with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Tigers checked in for the 76. Chicago also making some changes. Kukoc comes in for Luke Long. And Steve Kerr is subbed in for Harper. A nice shot by Jordan. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. And they double up Iverson. Kukoc with the steal. Kerr with it. He's got seven. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. That's a stomach punch, guys. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. You know, those kinds of plays can be difference makers, game changers, momentum shifters, especially in a close contest where one or two possessions can impact the outcome. The 76 is making the switch here. Sixer dancer. 59 seconds left in the third. Iverson with the ball. He's picked up by Jordan. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. Second team foul. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Philadelphia. You know, one of the big stories has been the three ball. It's been a key part of their offense throughout the game. They do, and you also see a lot of points have come off the dribble penetration. They've been aggressive on the bounce at attacking the defense. Bulls trail by five. 
There's 47 seconds left to play in the third. Here's Jordan. This is to Rodman. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Jordan. Rodman's got his first points of the game. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And here's Iverson outside. Good on the triple. And that's another three. And it, it really, if the defense is hoping that they don't heat up from out here like they did in the first half, they may be in for a real bad score. Now here's Kukoc. To the paint. He's looking for Jordan and finds him. Iverson against Pippen. Pass to Snow. Back to Iverson. Latrey. Rebounded by Rodman. Rodman's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Pippen for three. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. 76ers ahead, up by six. We're going to step aside for just a second. But join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter. Next. for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. And the 76ers call time here. All right, coming up to the court right now, the Sixers and we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, during that last break, I heard Philadelphia's coach as he addressed the team. His point to them was that they put themselves in a position to succeed and that this is their game to lose. So he needs to see full concentration out of every guy on the court to finish this one off. Kevin? Snow out there with Allen Iverson, and it's Mutombo, then it's Lynch, and it's Jones in at the three spot. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Bulls trail by six, and it's Allen Iverson Allen with the foul. Iverson. That's His foul number two for him. Foul. And Philadelphia First making a change foul. here. McKee's checked in. Here's Harper. The pass to Kerr. Longley with it, covered by Matumbo. Longley with the bucket. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You got to be tougher defensively. Here's Iverson. Lays it up off the glass. Iverson's got 39. He's certainly been their go-to guy when it matters most. He's trying to close this one out. Shoots it up. Count it. And the 76ers lead has been cut down to four on the bucket from Pippen. And that's right in his wheelhouse. Looking to make an impact when it counts. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. And so here is Chicago. Pass to Curry for three. Unable to get that one. And it's Philadelphia the other way. The drive by Iverson. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Iverson's got 11 in the second half. Jones against Pippen. Here he goes. Tries from 10. Rebounded by McKee. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team. And that's why they're ahead. Now, here's Matumbo. Iverson outside. Kicks it to Jones. Just five on the clock. Shoots over Harper. Can't connect from 13 feet out. There wasn't much defensive resistance there, guys, but somehow he blew it anyway. Missed opportunity. And Jones sends it back. Here's Lynch. Good. And it's Iverson who picks up the assist. Lynch has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. 
Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Who coach pass to Longwood and finished off by Longwood. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That the makes the turnover even more painful. What? You mean the throw down at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Some the changes for Philadelphia. Hager comes in from a tumble. And it's Hill in for Allen Iverson. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. McKee for three. The shot misses. Bulls trail by seven. Now here's Kukoc. Pass to Pippen. Screen by Longley. Pippen can't hit. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Here's Hill. Pass to McKee. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Don Harper. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. The free throw drops from McKee. So for the Bulls. Rodman comes in for Tony Kukoc. And it's Jordan in for Kirk. And McKee drops them both. And they're drawing more whistles and working their way to the line here in the second half. And, and guys, I think it's exactly the right thing to do with the lead. Keep going at the defender and find a way to get yourself to the line. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. And McKee kicks to Jones. That three off the mark. Bulls trail by six. And Jordan has it in the corner. And it's Jordan with the jam. Jordan is something to watch slamming home the ball, man. This guy is really strong. Does it with force. Now here's Jones, and it comes off the front of the rim. Jones against Harper. To the inside. No good from Jordan. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the fifth of his 76 shooters. McKee, the pass to Geiger. Stolen by Pippen. There's the pass to Jordan. He can't hit that time. Good D by Jones. Here's Lynch. Rebound by the Bulls. Pippen's got his fourth rebound in this one. He gets that one to drop. He's now 5 of 12. Yeah, Pippen using those long arms inside to get shots off. Feels like no one can guard it down low. Pass to Snow. And here is McKee. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on Pippen. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Old school D right there. Just telling them no easy layups. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. So he gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. Two-possession game now, guys. Some very important free throws there. Here's Jordan. Count! And he has brought them to within two points. Well, Jordan has been fantastic. A key the pass to Hill. It's always been about the effort defensively for Pippen, known as a stopper and a fantastic shot blocker. To and they had a foul to give, but you want to use it on the ground. Yeah, I agree with you there, but at least they did get the clock stopped. And they won saving grace to that situation. First free throw is good, and that narrows the gap to one. And Harper, very versatile, athletic. Plays with some physicality, too. Uh, brings a little bit of grit and hustle along with some 
flair and skill. And he had to have all of those guys. That miss comes at the worst possible time. McCulloch against Warner. Swiped it away. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Pippen, the pass to Jordan. And stolen by McKean. So they foul intentionally. Yeah, that's right. No other option but the foul. Yeah, they have to extend the game. I mean, plain and simple. Use every second you can on the clock here. one is good. We both at the line. It's a three-point game. I mean, how about the nerves there? Those free throws put them in a very good position. Three points clear. To tie it up. No good from three-point territory. They foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. So the first one drops, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Your Sixers, Todd Big Mac McCullough. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a five-point game. And, and that's Curtin's form. Some really good work at the charity strike to close this one out. And the 76ers making a change here. Seven seconds left to play in the final quarter. And now we've got the intentional foul. Dennis Rodman. That's his second personal foul. It's the first that increases their lead to six. And Matambo, a defensive force, a long, intelligent player who plays well on both ends of the floor. Taking two shots. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a seven-point game. So Philadelphia wins it. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just the, the overall trust this group has in one another, what it matters most, doing what had to be done, and to send these fans home happy. Thank you. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Olden, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. As we leave you with our New Balance Player of the Game, Allen Iverson.